Hi, sweet Stampin' Friends. Welcome. I first want to reach out to my Facebook friends today and say I am so sorry that I had to cancel today's live. There was just so many technological problems that I kept running into. Um, I, so anyway, I apologize I had to cancel today's live, but I hope to join you next Thursday. But today I am really excited because I want to share a really fun project with you today. So um, guys, if you have not joined me before, I'm Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Neat Designs. And I come to you each Thursday with a fun new project. Now today's project is a little bit different. It's different for me. Um, you, may, you may have seen this project online recently because it's kind of uh, becoming really popular and it is making a fun fold card and it's called a pinwheel card. Now I was inspired by Brenda Quintana and she shared a card that she had done on her blog and I just thought it was really fun to do. So I thought I would venture out of my creative comfort zone and try this pinwheel card. So let me go ahead. I'm going to reposition my camera and then I'm going to show you today's project. So hang tight. All right. Okay. So today's project makes this really fun pinwheel card. And I am using the uh, Bloom Where You're Planted uh, Sweet. And so this actually, it looks more complicated than it actually is. And so what it is, is it actually has four quadrants and each one of them has a different seam. And so I just thought that was super cute. The beautiful thing about this is it lays flat and it fits perfectly inside one of our medium size envelopes. So I wanted to share with you how to make this card. Now, as you can see, there are several different elements to this card. So I have already uh, prepped a lot of these uh, decor pieces ahead of time so that I can just share with you today how to do the mechanism for the card and how to assemble it. It's not that hard, but I do want to spend a little bit of time and share that how to do that with you. So let me get my supplies over and we will get started. All right, so before we get started on today's project, I do want to let you know if you were on my email newsletter list, I will be sending you the PDF tutorial for today's project with all the instructions and the supplies that you will need to make it. Um, if you are not on my email newsletter list, I encourage you to hop on over to simplysweetinkdesigns.com and you can sign up to receive my email newsletter with fun projects and ideas every week. Also, too, uh, I love sharing with you some of my promotions and events that I have coming up. So, all right, let me go ahead and let's get into today's project. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a piece of basic white cardstock. And I'm actually using basic white, the regular version, instead of the thick, because as you start to build on the layers, this card can get a little thick and it might be a little difficult to get in the envelope. So we're going to first start off with this piece of basic white that measures four and one quarter by five and three quarters, and we're going to score it in four places. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line up the long edge along the top here, and we're going to score at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, two and one quarter inches, and then lastly at three inches. And that is all the scoring that we need to do today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our bone folder and we're gonna burnish each of these score lines so we get a nice crisp edge and squared off for our card. All right, so that leaves us with four different quadrants. There we go. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. We've got four different areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold these kind of over on top of itself so that we create kind of like a square tube right here. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to add adhesive on this last panel here. And then we're going to glue this together. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can get this rolled correctly. Let me do that, kind of flatten it out. I'm gonna 
press it down real nicely. And there we go, we got our tube, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tube and we're gonna start adding on different layers or different flaps to it. And so the next thing we wanna do is we want to take three pieces of basic white cardstock and each of these measures two and three quarters by four and one quarter. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do with each of these different flaps is we're going to adhere them so that we create like a pinwheel. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first take and we're gonna add our adhesive on our sections here that is on the tube. We wanna do that rather than putting it on the uh, layer or on this flap so that we know exactly how much glue to use. So I'm just going to line this up, get that on there. Now once I feel that I have it pretty well lined up with the back here, let's see, kind of move that up forward a little bit. Once I have it nice and lined up, then I'm gonna flatten it out and I can, and then I'll press it down to get that to adhere well. So next we're gonna to move to the other, the second section here. And we're going to add more adhesive. And again, we're going to line it up. And then once I feel I have it lined up, I'm going to lay it flat again. See, our pinwheel is coming together. And then I'm going to adhere this last piece on this last section. All right, one more time, line it up. Make sure it's sitting at the back so we don't have too much of a seam there. We wanna minimize that seam as much as possible. And again, press it down. All right, so there we go. And I'm just gonna kind of go through each of these edges before we get started and just make sure that they're gonna fold nicely and they look good. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some pieces of designer series paper. Now I am using the Bloom or your planted designer series paper. And we have, if you notice on here on this card, we have two sections. We have a narrow section here and then we have a wider section here on the right. So I'm gonna start with putting the sections on the left side and these pieces of designer series paper, they measure two by four and one quarter. And so what we're gonna do is we're going, I'm gonna use my little uh, sample here so that I stay, uh, make sure I put the correct paper on the correct section. So we're gonna use this really cute little plant print and we're going to adhere that onto our first panel. Now what I wanna do is I wanna line it up first with the edge, because I really don't want a lot of that sticking out. All right, now if needed, if it's a little bit longer, you can always kind of pull away your uh, where you glued and kind of tuck it under just a little bit. And that's what I had to do there because it was just a little bit wider than my actual section showing. All right, so next, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put on this piece and we're gonna put that on our second section. And we're gonna keep working our way around. Same thing, wanna line it up with all three edges first. All right. Nope, oh, don't like that one. Let's see if I can get it off. There we go. All right. Okay, so now that we've put that one on, I'm gonna to go to the next section. And I'm gonna put this piece on with all the little pots for plants. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna kind of line that up. With our edge, press that down. And then our last panel. We're gonna put the brick on this last one. All 
right, now that we have done that, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the right section, the wider section. And for those pieces of designer series paper, those actually measure two and three quarters by four and one quarter. And we're gonna do the same thing and we're just gonna wrap those around and adhere them on each of those sections. So again, I want to start back on my first section. Make sure I put the correct paper on the correct section. Again, I'm gonna line up the edge here and then press down. Go to my next section. I'm going to kind of put this kind of like cement looking print on the next section. All right, awesome. For some reason I got little bits of glue and stuff all over here that I'm cleaning up. All right, so then we're going to add this section. I'm gonna add a nice little leafy background for this one. And this is actually gonna be the last piece of designer series paper that I am gonna put on for these sections. I am actually gonna leave this last section blank because I wanna be able to have a place to be able to write a note. All right, so let's start back at the beginning again. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start decorating each of these sections up. So like I said, in order to save a little bit of time, I have already pre-stamped and pre-cut everything out, but I am gonna go ahead and then these are the pieces that I am using. Uh, I cut these out from the Bloom Where You're Planted Designer Series paper, and then I used one of these scallop contour dies, punched out the smallest die and just stamped from the uh, Plentiful Plant Stamp Set, that little message there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue these on. Now I am not using dimensionals. Usually I do like to use dimensionals to have a little uh, kind of, uh, you know, different layers for my projects. However, because like I said, this as you add these layers, they start to become thick. So we really don't wanna add any more dimension to this than we need to. So we're just gonna keep it kind of low profile this time. We're gonna glue on this leaf, little plant here, and then our pot here. Put that on top. Okay, so side one is done, so we're gonna to go to the next section. And I'm gonna share a little uh, tip with you on how to glue this. Now this is actually the lattice paper and it's a little bit tricky to adhere because it's got really, really thin lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my silicone mat here and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Let's put a little bit more. And then that way, that way I'm not making a huge gooey mess everywhere because basically it's just getting on those lines. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way and let's put this towards the top. Oh, that worked beautifully. See, that way I don't have a bunch of like stickiness on my card here, just underneath where I needed it on those lines. That's all I, uh, that's all I needed to do. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're going to put our plant together. Now what I wanna do first is I wanna position this here, put my little plant inside the pot. And then that way what I wanna do is I'm gonna lay it here so I can gauge where I need to place my little plant hanger. Cause I want my plant hanger to be about right here, but I don't want, you know, I don't want my pot like being in the wrong position. So this will help me kind of figure out where I need to place it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Kind of remember that right there. I'm gonna add my plant. All right, 
let's just check that again before the glue dries. All right, I think that will work nicely. So again, I want to use, for my hanger, I'm gonna use my silicone mat again with some more glue, because I think that will work best rather than me trying to get glue on those tiny little lines. I'm just gonna dab some glue in some random spots here. And then we'll glue that onto our card. All right, so side two is done. So let's go ahead and let's work on side three. All right, for this one, I used, again, I used the scallop contour dies, and I die cut out a medium uh, la a layer here in basic white. I went ahead and I stamped it with the, again, the Plentiful Plant stamp set. And I cut out a little section of brick from the designer series paper. And so I'm just going to take and I'm going to glue that here at the bottom. Have it look like we have like a little, um, like a little brick shelf that we're going to put our plant on. Now I have already die cut these out from the bloom where you're planted designer series paper. And so again, I'm just going to assemble my plant with the pot. And then we're going to glue that onto our layer. And there we go. All right, so last thing we have to do is just add our layer onto our card. And we'll finish up this side. All right, one more guys, and then we are done. Now, like I said, for this side, I wanted to keep this kind of open to be able to write a message to my recipient, but I still wanted to add in a little bit of color. So I used the large scalloped edge from the uh, contour dies, and this actually measures seven eighths by two and three quarter inches. And I'm just gonna put this towards the top. Add a little bit of color. All right, so now I'm just gonna make sure that each of my sides opens and folds properly. And there we go. So guys, that is the project that I had to share with you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was definitely something uh, new for me, but I thought it was a lot of fun. I hope that you will try this fun fold technique. And if you do, I would love for you to share a uh, picture of your project with us over on my Facebook page at Simply Sweet Ink Designs. Now, if you are part of my email newsletter, I like I said, I will be emailing you the project sheet tomorrow. If you are not part of my newsletter, Go ahead, sign up so that you can enjoy some fun project ideas each week, as well as get notifications of promotions and events that I have going on. So I did want to share with you today before I leave the, promo uh, the events that I have coming up in July. And so I have first my Plentiful Plant Stamp Club. The registration is actually closing tomorrow. And I want to say mm, I might have one or two spots left. I think it's almost full. But you can go get more information if you want to hop over to my blog at Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. You can go check that out, kind of scroll to the bottom, and there is a link to it. So also, too, I have my July Stampin' Bunko coming up on July 20th. It is online through Zoom. It's a lot of fun. We, play, we do a couple of projects, and we play for Stampin' Up! product prizes. So the registration also uh, ends tomorrow on July 9th. And so if you want to go check that out, like I said, go check out that link on my blog and you can sign up to play with us. I think there's a few spots left for that as well. So the last event that I wanted to share with you today is a really fun project that uh, I designed with one of my team members, Nathan Spear. We had a lot of fun uh, putting our creative efforts together to come up with a really fun project for you. Now, there is, we are holding a local event here in San Antonio on July 31st from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, however, you can also get your kit to go, 
And so I will share, I wanted to share with you what the project looks like real quickly and then how you can get your uh, project kit, either to join us local, uh, locally or, here, or to get it mailed to you. So this is the project and it makes a fun recipe memory album. And it include, the project kit includes the six by eight album as well as the page inserts, a half a pack of the Euro Peach Designer Series paper and a package of rhinestones. Now the project kit will include uh, several pre-cut supplies. Now you will be cutting your own designer series paper from the half a pack that's provided in your kit, but we will uh, cut the cardstock, the recipe cards, and some of these little accents for you. But anything that needs to be stamped and die cut, you will uh, need to do on your own. So you wanna make sure you own the Sweet as a Peach bundle to be able to do that. And so just beautiful, fun, just really pretty pages to be able to just preserve some of those really special uh, recipes that maybe you've collected or had handed down to you, or you can make this as a gift and share it with somebody, uh, somebody else. So anyway, you can actually register for this project kit. Um, you would need to go over to my blog and then you can, uh, there's a link there that you can click to be able to request the registration link. Now the registration does end on July 16th and the project kits after that date we will go ahead and order the supplies start prepping them package them up and then mail them out by july 31st so guys i hope that you enjoyed today's uh, video and that you will come back and join me next thursday and if you have any questions about any of my events please reach out to me otherwise we will see you next thursday take care bye guys